joining us this morning, introducing us to Rufus. Tell us a little bit about Rufus. Yeah, Rufus is an adorable three-year-old domestic short hair kitty who was brought to the Arizona Humane Society all the way back in April when a good Samaritan who was caring for him as a, as a community cat noticed that he wasn't really eating very well. So she brought him to the Arizona Humane Society. He was treated in our second chance animal trauma hospital and he is all good to go now. So he can be a bit shy. And as you can see in that picture, sometimes he pretends to be grumpy. <laughs> but <laughs> This is not the new grumpy cat though. Right. Not the new Grumpy Cat. No, not quite yet. I don't think anyone can replace Grumpy Cat, but you can definitely have your own Rufus Cat. Um, but anyone who knows him says that once he warms up, he's extremely sweet and he'll even vocalize with you and ask how your day is. Um, he absolutely loves other kitties, but he prefers to go to a dog free home. He says cats rule. And any uh, kids in the home, we prefer to be at least eight years or older because he can be shy at first. Uh, so let's hope Rufus gets adopted soon. We do want to remind people next weekend is 4th of July. We're just a week away and this is always the day more pets go missing on the 4th, the night of the 4th, right than any other day of the year. Yeah, that's right. So more pets go missing on or around the 4th of July than any time of the year. You're absolutely right, Kylie. And as we know, we're already hearing the fireworks already. It's a week out, so it can be a very scary time for our pets. We want to definitely help keep your pets healthy and happy with these tips. So first and foremost, this goes year round. Make sure that you have proper identification for your pets. That includes ensuring that they have a collar that fits well with current ID and their updated microchips. The Arizona Humane Society provides low cost microchips if you need to do that. Make sure you keep them cool so that they have plenty of shade, water, keep them off the hot pavement and never leave your dogs unattended in a car. And then during when they're uh, during the fireworks, so make sure that you're keeping your pets indoors and distracted with a safe, quiet space that is away from all of the distractions and all of the scary stuff. So making sure that there's probably lots of food, water, as well as maybe some uh, radio or noise to make sure that to drown out the scary noises and that it's a safe, secure space. You can also even help desensitize them right now by playing sounds of fireworks at a very low level and giving them positive reinforcement. But like we mentioned, if your pet does go missing or you find a pet, you can visit azhumane.org slash lost pet to help get them home. So how do you guys prepare for a busy week like this week? Because I can imagine you've got to kind of adjust the shelters and make sure you have enough people to manage the influx of pets that will likely come through your doors this weekend and uh, into early next week, the week after. Yeah, so actually Maricopa County Animal Care and Control usually gets a majority of the lost pets because usually they're healthy. So a majority of them go there, um, but we do have a pet reunite specialist and um, people on our admissions team who are dedicated to finding lost pets and getting them reunited with their owners through a lot of different things. So that's something that we do year round, but of course around the 4th of July, we really step that up as well. And then of course on our website, we have a bunch of resources to try to help make sure that these pets are staying out of the shelter and keep and stay in their home where they belong. So if you guys have any res or if you guys have any questions, need any resources, you can always visit azhumane.org. And of course, going back to Rufus, if you're yes. interested in Rufus, you can visit azhumane.org slash adopt. His adoption fee is actually waived right now. And so is the adoption fee of all of our adult kitties one year and older. So it's definitely a great time to add a furry little feline to your family. A good deal and the cats and also a great name too, Rufus. I think you're perfect. I love his little photo. Again, shy, but also sweet when she gets to know him. Kelsey, good to see you this morning. Thanks for joining us. We're going to take a quick break. More Good Morning Arizona up.